process taken well I suppose about 15 months to, to get here uh, lots of ups and downs but I, today it's it's great uh, I'm very pleased with the performances very pleased with the creative contributions the music uh, all aspects of it so it's, it's very much a collaboration of talents uh, and so one is um, you know happy that, um, that that people's abilities come together Fantastic. you know not everyone is going to love it yeah. Uh, someone, some may, some may not. But I, I'm happy either way. I mean, it's at that stage where you're just glad that you've come through the process and and and, and people being able to express themselves, the actors and so on, and right. people like yourself, and with a wonderful song at the end of the movie. Thank you. I've heard a lot of compliments, so I'm laughing it up. But um, the other thing I just quickly wanted to ask you is, what plans have you got afterwards? Are you going to try and get it on well, we, release? Well, we want to get into festivals. That's the main okay. thing is to try and get into some festivals and then we get the um, you know acknowledgement by because when, when you're in festivals you you have the film community yeah. there you have distributors and, and so on so we want to get into some festivals and then build on that really that's that's okay. what one always tries to do get, maybe get a festival award or something like that that's so that's an, that's that's the aim really it's not easy because these days feature film distribution is hard you know it's, yeah. it's it, if you're not a big budget production yeah, it's difficult but you know you just have to have the energy do what you and, can yeah and do okay, what you can we'll do what we can with moving on tv as exactly well. so you as you were doing this around everywhere as you haven't got any of the big media companies here filming and so i'm it exactly. in a nice way okay take care thank you thank you're welcome you. So, i know because i saw the Steve sent me quite a while ago, and you can, you play the police inspector, right? I'm um, a counterterrorism inspector. Yes. Counterterrorism. Yes. Yes. Okay. What's your name? Your real name. The, my real name or the character name? No, your real name. Christopher Tajar. Hi, Christopher. It's nice <laughs> to meet you. Likewise. So, how do you feel about making this film? Is this um, your first film, or have you? Made... No, by no means my first film. I've done a few films now. Right. Um, no, it was very, very interesting. It's a great character to play. Very interesting character because um, it's not all that he makes out to be right. so it's it's an interesting character because you have to kind of like uh, work out mm -hmm. you know how he's gonna deal with 
understanding and getting through to this character and trying to work out and piece, sure. piece the story together. So it's an interesting character in that, that degree. That's great. As I said, I just want, so how do you feel about being today at the preview? No, it's always nice to see what happens because you just do the film. Mm -hmm. You do the film and you it goes in the can, so that, you know, the term the can. You forget it. It's over a year later, by the way. Uh -huh. So sometimes things are altered, sometimes things are cut. So it's very nice to see, sometimes it's very nice to see the finished film because yeah. it kind of reveals to you what the film is going to be. Hey, there I am. Music. Nadine Reddy and Lauren Hope. It's a lovely room. Come I've done that before when the, well, I like to go right, by Martin? across the manor, like to, to go by a breath of the top. I never uh, uh, I think it's better. And I, I think it's better. And I want to get him up here just to ask a few questions before we start so you see the context in which it was made. But we really appreciate you all coming and joining us. Steve. something there that I wanted to work through as a writer and then, then there were other elements that came in the, the theme of terrorism which which will okay, yeah, when you see the films yeah, we, we, we can talk we can talk about this yeah. after but yeah. okay but I was really getting at that how much of that experience yeah I mean I mean what I what, what, the, what I'd like to say about it is just that it was great to to work as a writer from an experience that I'd really been right in the center of because very often as a writer, if you're adapting something, you're, you're working at one remove from, from your subject. But to be working from something that I lived through uh, over a long period of time, and I knew it from very much from the inside, and I felt it was an important set of experiences that I'd had. I was at the Central London branch, which is the biggest branch in the country, and, uh, and it was right in, in the middle of Soho. So, so you felt you were right at the centre of things, and dealing with a, a, an enormous range of people with different, different backgrounds. And it was... It was a powerful experience over a long period of time. I really want to write about it. Well, soon you'll see the, the very talented cast who are, were in the play. But were you, were you involved in casting the, the actors? Yes, I mean, I, I, was, I, wasn't, uh, I didn't have the pivotal role. I came in as a writer. I was just the, the, the writer on the production. I, and, and I came in as a writer on the auditions. And, and that, was, that was fascinating. And, uh, and, and very, very, again, very enriching because we met some lovely cast members who you know, went on to... To, to, to be to okay. then, so, like many people who went to saw, I remember saying to you after the performance, you should film this, I mean, it's terrific. Uh, and when you decided to film this, how did you go about making it? Well, it, it, 
was funny because it, uh, initially it was like, let's, let's have a record of the film, of the, of the play. Um, but, but very quickly that idea went because, uh, as you will see when you, when you see the film, it, it's very much set in a real world. Um, it's not in a kind of theatrical world of harm. And so once you introduce real locations, you, you, you enter into something quite new. And then there was a challenge of making it a, a film rather than just a recording of a play, which is perhaps better talked about after the experience before. But, but, but then the other thing to say about it was, uh, you know, I started, I, I called you and I called Peter and, uh, and, and Yoram, Yoram Tambrink, who can't be with us today, who's, who I must say played a very important role. I, I want to just mention Yoram, who's linked actually with this cinema, because he was one of the people that set up the cinema. He played a very important role at an early stage. So I just want to say he can't, unfortunately, he's not well. So he can't be with us. I just want to pay tribute to him. We then had some meetings, and we discovered actually we, we had no budget. And <laughs> being, being on Freedom Passes, we always think there's solutions. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, how did we solve that problem? We must have had it. <laughs> okay, so we uh, went well, ahead and did it. So, 84 minutes of film. We did pay people, I hasten to add. It wasn't an ex exercise in exploitation. We're still paying them all. Sure. Uh, so, we had 84 <laughs> minutes of film. How many days did it take? Three. Oh. Oh. Three days. Uh, three days, okay. Well, so it's good to know this context. One of the things I want to say about the three days is it was one of the nicest collaborative moments I have ever had in my working career. Uh, because somehow everyone was there pitching in. Mm. Maybe we've said enough now. Yes. Let's see the film, and I hope you enjoy it. And I think, obviously, from a content point of view, uh, I think it's fantastic. And uh, we'll be very interested in your opinions afterwards or, or comments. And uh, thank you so much. Um, 
such a good spirit. Um, but um, but uh, yeah, and uh, echo about the, the filming um, style, it was uh, crazy <laughs> to do, but um, yeah, really, uh, really quite benef uh, beneficial to, to work that way. Um, you just don't worry about anything because it's all happening around you and it's all broken up, so thank you. to hear my singing coming from this massive big screen inside the cinema. Never ever had before and I really wish Steve that he gets everywhere with this film so we can all get the, um, the glory that we all deserve with the wonderful film he's made and I'm very proud of myself um, that I did this. So thank you Steve for giving me this opportunity and I'll be long. Signing off for Movie on TV from the Regent Cinema here in London. And when it comes out, don't forget to go and see Red Call. It's a brilliant film. Thank you. I'm Joost, I'm an associate producer on the film and, uh, and I loved your singing at the end. I think it really focuses the meaning and content of the film in a way that's wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Steve's very lucky to have you as a neighbour. Oh, thank you. As a friend, we're good friends. Okay. <laughs> thank yeah. you very much. Okay.